What's up guys, Sean Torbati, High Performance Nutrition here with HPN Elite Athlete, Nick Dompierre, talking about what I think is a really important subject, which is nutrition in the skating world. Nutrition for extreme athletes, nutrition for anybody really. As a skater, as someone who's been in this world for a long time, uh, from my experience, I've seen that, that you guys typically eat a lot of processed foods like chips, stuff like that, saltier snacks, anything things that, that are on the go, yeah, right? Like, the, the go. you know, like beef jerky, Slim Jim, stuff like that, <laughs> that you can take with you, have in your backpack, pick it up at 7-Eleven, whatever. How have you seen the impact from formerly eating a little bit more like that? I know you've always been a little more nutrition conscious, but eating a little more on that side and now coming over to like having a pretty well dialed in nutritional approach. What have you seen the differences to be? Um, definitely for one, I feel a lot better, you know, not just putting bags of chips and tons of processed junk, you know, really, really basing my diet around all nutritious foods and I still enjoy myself here and there, but, you know, I definitely have a better operating body with a uh, good whole foods in it. And this becomes even more important if you are to start incorporating weight training. As you start breaking down more muscle tissue, putting more demand on your body for recovery and adaptation, you need more nutrients, you need more protein, you need better sources of carbohydrates, more healthy fat, more micronutrients. This all becomes crucial if you're gonna start weight training, which will lead to better results, uh, both on the board and in the gym. So if you're putting that together, how can we give these guys some good advice in terms of getting started to moving towards eating a, a more uh, balanced nutrition uh, plan or program? Well, first off, um, would be kind of setting your calorie intake. So, roughly anywhere from 15 to 17 uh, calories per pound of body weight is a good starting point. And then from there, you know, you don't have to go too crazy. Just you know, 80% of your diet, you know, try to be nutritious, wholesome foods. And then you know, the other 15 to 20%, you know, you can be flexible and you know, have your, your snacks here and there. And, um, you know, just really focus on putting nu nutrients into your body. So for the sake of an example, if you were a 100 pound, you know, very, very short guy uh, or girl, that would be about 1500 calories to 1700 calories starting point. And that's what's really important. This number is a starting point, guys. It's what you're gonna use to get going and then you'll feel out how your body responds, how your weight responds, how you feel like you're changing in the mirror and you can adjust your calories up or down from there. Now, how would they go about figuring out what's in the food that they eat right now? Um, pretty much just, you gotta look at the labels. So on the labels, um, you know, there's fats, carbs, and proteins. You don't have to get too technical and track macros like I do, but it is a good approach to um, optimally putting in um, enough protein, enough carbs, and enough fats. And hitting that calorie number that you talked about. Yeah, exactly. So really tracking, tracking your product. The more data you have, the better. So. Um, I use MyFitnessPal, log everything. So, so you, I, you would go on to MyFitnessPal.com, you can type in kind of what you're eating as you go along with the portion size. You can guesstimate it or you can get exact with a food scale, they're like 20 bucks at Target or on Amazon. You can pick one of those up if, if you're really interested in being precise. Or you can estimate uh, and still get a good ballpark going for yourself. You type in what you eat as you go through your day and you don't miss anything. Type it all in and it will tell you not only the total calorie number, but also the amount of carbs, protein, and fat in what you ate. So if you go through a day right now without trying to change anything, you can see where you're at. And then you can adjust based on Nick's advice of shooting for that 15 to 17 calories uh, per pound to get to the optimal level. And again, a starting point. So if you're interested in like really precise, customized nutrition planning, that's something that Nick has actually come on board with Healthy Body Nutrition Consulting, a, a nutrition consulting company that I own along with Deanna Wolf, our registered dietitian, where we make fully customized nutrition programs. If you're interested in that, you can email Nick at nick at healthybodync.com and we'll put that below. And you can, you know, we can work with you directly to give you a customized plan. But again, keep in mind these magic numbers as a starting point if you want to go at it on your own and go through some self-education, which we highly recommend anyway, because you want to get to know your body, how it works, and what works well with it and what doesn't. So 15 to 17 calories per pound of body weight, that's a starting point. That is a starting point. So incorporating that is going to make a big difference in how you feel, how you look, and how you perform. Those are three things I think we all want 
to increase. So absolutely. Consider uh, consider incorporating this into your diet. Any questions, please feel free to ask below. Thanks for checking it out, guys.